Hello Explorers, thanks for joining us again and welcome back to another informative video on our YouTube channel. On today's episode, we are visiting the country of Madagascar. For those of you who plan to visit Madagascar and had no information about, by the end of this video, you will have a clear understanding as reason why this country is a unique country within the African continent and where this country has been and also where they are heading to. So without any more delay, we should just go straight into it. With regards to Madagascar, for those of you who don't know, Madagascar is the largest African island situated in the Indian Ocean. It's about 450 kilometers east of the coast of Mozambique. It's the fourth largest island in the world and has been isolated for about 88 million years and many of its plants and animals are unique to the island. The prehistoric breakup of the supercontinental Gondwana separated Madagascar, Antarctica, Indian landmass from African, South American and also landmass around 130 million years ago. Madagascar later split from the Indian about 88 million years ago, allowing plants and animals on the islands to evolve in relatively isolation, with an area of just over 580 7,000 km square. The island is slightly larger than France and also is almost twice the size of the US state of Arizona if you put that into perspective. Madagascar is geographically related to close to Comoros, Mauritius, Mozambique, Reunion and also South Africa. Madagascar has a population of just over 26 million people. The capital and the largest city is Antananarivo. Spoken languages are Malagasy and also French. Moving ahead, Madagascar was the Red Islands and also the Rainbow Islands, the eighth continent. So to point out, there are many names for world's fourth largest island that's given to this amazing African country. Madagascar is situated in the southwestern area of the Indian Ocean, as we've pointed out, and the coast of almost 400 50 kilometers. The island is recognized as one of the world's top 10 hotspots for biodiversity. Madagascar is inhabited by various ethnic groups of Malayo, Indonesian, mixed African and also Malayo Indonesians as well. You do have the Arab ancestry which are there. Five centuries before the European discovered the island, Malayo Indonesian seafarers arrived in roughly the first century around the AD at the time. The Arabs followed in the 6th century to also establish the trade post. Since the 16th century, French and British influence left its mark in the October uh, point at the time. As of October 1958, the Malagasy Republic was proclaimed as an autonomous state within the French community and also gained full independence in 1960. Like many former colonial countries, Madagascar went through various political states like uprising, provisional government, single party rule, socialist economic policies, and also threat of secession. Today, the country is one of the slow and steady economic and political growth part from extreme low income to struggling to be at where they are today. If you are new to this channel, we would encourage you to subscribe and share our videos to your different network. Understanding this amazing African nation with its particular amazing location, Madagascar is mostly unregulated economy with many untapped natural resources but not capital markets. It's a weak judicial system based on a different assessment and poorly enforced contracts and also rampant government issues in terms of law and corruption areas in different ways. However, the government is working hard to transform this particular characteristics which plague its development. The country faces challenges to improve its education system and also health care and the environmental to boost long-term economic growth in different areas. Agriculture, including fishing and also forestry, is the main stream of income in Madagascar, accounting for more than one foot of the GDP and also employing roughly 80% of the population. Deforestation is a big challenge in Madagascar and you do have erosion, aggregation and also bushfire, slash and burns aspect and also clearing techniques, a use of firewood and also primary source of fuel and a serious concern for the agricultural dependency economy in the country. Also, the physical discouraging social issues affected Madagascar in different ways. However, following the World Bank and IMF-led policy of privatization and liberalization around moving back to 2019, 2009 rather, they've tried to help this amazing African country to lift frog back to its um, original state, to transform its economy, to create jobs and in different ways. 
the Growth Opportunity Act, which is also abbreviated as a GOA, uh, let Madagascar qualify in those different areas. Madagascar regained the AGOA assets in January of 2015, moving back, and also ensuring growth has slowed, however, in a fragile way. Madagascar produces around 80% of the world's vanilla and its reliance on its commodity for most of its foreign exchange is a significant source of vulnerability for its economy. Looking at the vanilla production, which is 80% of the world, the country is working on those preferred areas. Economic reforms from the models and also country's financial sector remains weak, limiting the issues of monetary policy to control inflation. An ongoing IMF program aimed to strengthen financial and investment management capacity for this African country. If you are new to this channel, we will encourage you to subscribe and share our videos to your different network. Madagascar is a republic and also have a strategic geographic location within the African continent. It's a beautiful island for those of you who plan to visit. It does have wonderful biodiversity that will attract any particular person. Could be for geographical issues, could be for historical aspect, or for research and different areas you plan to visit this amazing African country. Also, the climate is a tropical climate alongside temperate islands and also arid south and periodic cyclones that does happen in this country. In terms of its people, they do have a nationality called Malagasy and we've talked about the population. Its ethnic groups have 18 separate tribal groups which includes the Malayo-Indonesian, the mixed African and also the Malayo-Indonesians and Arab ancestry, uh, French Indians and Creole. And you do have the Komora and religious indigenous groups, different areas. You do have different beliefs as well. Christianity is 41%, Muslim is 7%. Languages are Malagasy, as you've laid out. Looking at the natural resources, you do have natural resources like granite, uh, chromite, and also coal, bauxite, salt, quartz, and also tar, sand, and also semi precious stones like micra, fish, and also hydropower. The country focuses heavily on agricultural production. You do have coffee, vanilla, which produces the world's 80%, and also you have sugarcane, cloves, cocoa, and rice, different things that Madagascar focus on. And they don't have industries like meat processing, soap, and also tenari, sugar, textile, and cloves. There are different export products that Madagascar exports to different countries in terms of the commodities. You do have vanilla, which is the highest. You do have sugar, cotton, and clothings in different ways. Petroleum products are also something that the country engages in. However, the country does business with different countries, particularly France, China, South Africa, Japan, the Netherlands, and also Germany, including Belgium and India. In terms of import, Madagascar imports capital goods such as petroleum and also consumer goods as food. In terms of import partners, those businesses with those different countries like with Mauritius, Kuwait, South Africa, China, and Bahrain. If you are new to this channel, we would encourage you to subscribe and share our videos to your different network. For those of you who have never been to Madagascar, the capital Antananarivo is a wonderful place for you to visit. Madagascar does have its own educational system which is working on to improve. The University of Antananarivo has been known to be one of the most primary universities in Madagascar. You do have University de Fianas the Fianaras Tuswa, which is a university is popularly known in the country. The country does have an environmental and natural park which also enabled to make sure that, which is amazing biodiversity, to make sure they maintain all of these different um, flora and also fauna, which are in this amazing African country. Of course, the country does have its own challenges in terms of the social issues. However, the government's working really hard, looking at the IFMA project to transform this amazing African country. For those of you who plan to visit, Visiting this country will transform your views with regards to its separation. It's been named in different ways and called uh, different uh, locations in terms of its strategic location within the African country. It is an amazing African nation. Hopefully, for those of you who plan to visit, there are several places you could visit in this country of Madagascar and you would enjoy your time there. It's a country that hasn't been explored and discovered in several ways. So finding your time in Madagascar while your holiday experience or doing business in Antananarivo. 
Hopefully, we were able to inform you with regards to this amazing African country. For those of you who plan to visit Madagascar, it's a wonderful place for you to take a look. And also, if you plan to enjoy yourself in Tananarivo, it will be a great place for you to check your holidays in the future. For now, thanks very much for watching the Explorer. Hopefully, you can subscribe to our channel and share our videos to your different network. We encourage you to watch our other episodes on our platform. Thank you very much and we're looking forward to meeting you in our next episode. Have a good day. Bye-bye.